let's learn a new trick to determine rs configuration this compound contains ch3 hydrogen and hydroxyl group we know higher the atomic number higher will be the uh, pri priority here at atomic number of uh, carbon is 6 atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and atomic number of oxygen is 8 so priority sequence b is hydroxyl group greater than ch3 greater than hydrogen so now i am drawing the fissure projection here it is very important that standard practice is to keep lowest priority group at the bottom so arrangement of group a b c indicates configuration uh, is whether r or s if it is clockwise then it is r and abc is if abc is uh, anti clockwise then it is s configuration now uh, this is the fissure projection of the compound here uh, obviously hydroxyl group has highest priority then ch oh ch3 big and then methyl group then uh, hydrogen so oxygen is a it has highest priority group then b yes now uh, it is very important that now we are doing double exchange it is very important that double exchange at single chiral center doesn't change the configuration it is very very important here so after first exchange between b and d we have this configuration then we are a, we are again doing another exchange that is second exchange now configuration is this one now abc is uh, anti clockwise so it is s configuration now we are going to determine the um, configuration of second chiral center so here again we will do first exchange first exchange between a and b now again we will do second exchange as double exchange at single chiral center doesn't change the configuration second exchange between b and c now again abc is uh, anti clockwise so it is s so both chiral center is s configuration so option a is correct term.